I'm building my own Minecraft server in Rust and for this video I wanted to implement building and breaking blocks. But before doing that I wanted to just quickly update my server from 1.21.4 to the current version 1.21.5. I thought that's going to be quick and easy and didn't need its own video, but here we are. So I started where I always start, on the Minecraft wiki. It's pretty cool honestly and it contains all the information I need about the Minecraft protocol. And because it's based on MediaWiki, I can just compare the last version of 1.21.4 with the current one. The first thing I noticed was that the packet IDs shifted around a little bit, which shouldn't be a big issue to fix but because I had those hard-coded in different places in my code base, uh, yeah, I realized that I needed a better way. <laughs> so instead of manually updating those IDs in all the different places, I created a trait called just packet that contains function to get the ID, get the direction the packet travels, and the state it's used in. Then I just had to implement this trait for all of my packet structs, and that looks something like this. So now the ID of the packet just gets defined in this one place and then I can call this function wherever I need it. And then right after doing that I also had the idea to just do the same thing for the protocol version and the Minecraft version. And yeah, that's just these two little functions here that are now part of my library. This gets now used in the server list ping. After these two little fixes I hope that everything will just work. But uh, yeah, I got a nice little protocol error trying to join my server. Digging into the crash report, it looked like that's due to some registry stuff not quite working. The official Minecraft server sends quite a lot of these, mine didn't, so I thought maybe that's the issue. So I just added all the registries that the Minecraft server sends also to my server, but that didn't really fix the issue. Turns out that there's a whole new packet now that I somehow missed. That's the update tag packet. I'm not quite sure how this is exactly used. But um, yeah, I just copied it from the official server and implemented it in mine. So as you can see right here, it's containing a lot of data. I just copy and pasted all of that and that seemed to have done the trick. I also remembered that the entity ID of players has changed in these two versions. And so I also fixed that real quick. In the future, these entity IDs will also be kind of scattered around all of my code base. So I will need to do kind of the same thing that I did with the packet IDs. But I didn't do that quite yet because I'm lazy. And that already brings me to my true enemy, the chunk data and update light packet. Yeah, right, this caused me quite some headaches again. And because its description is on a separate page on the wiki, I also didn't notice the changes at first. The first part that changed in this packet is how the height maps are encoded. So before, height maps were encoded in an NBT data structure that just contained essentially arrays of longs and now we just have arrays in longs directly in the protocol without being wrapped in NBT. And then I had a lot of fun with the data array in the palleted container, so that's where all the blocks and biome information is stored. Thanks to how palleted containers work, you only need around 4 to 5 bits typically to store a single block. And then you just pack multiple of these into a 64-bit long number. And then all of these 64-bit long numbers are your data array. Previously, the length of that data array was also encoded in the packet itself, and now they just got rid of that. That means that now I have to actually calculate the length of this array myself, based on the bits per entry and how many of these entries you have. But of course, 5 bits don't really fit nicely into a 64-bit number, so you also have some leftover bits there that you also have to account for. I know it sounds like this shouldn't be too difficult, but I still kind of struggled my way through implementing the length calculation for this. And then somehow it just started working in my server. Still not in the proxy though, so I had to do some more digging. I actually never quite found out what the issue was there, but I just did some refactoring and then it suddenly started to work. So that's kind of nice. As you can see, maybe right here, the light maps are still kind of broken. I don't know why, because they shouldn't have changed, so um, who knows. But then I kind of just left it at that, because I knew that I had to revisit this packet in the future anyways, once I wanted to implement sending individual blocks. And then after a couple of hours of work, my server was finally compatible with 1.21.5. Yeah, this was a bit more work than I expected for just a little dot update, but here we are. And it also kind of makes me scared for the future, to be a little bit honest, when there are 
bigger updates and uh, I also have more stuff implemented that then needs to change maybe. So we will see how that all goes. So that's already it with this quick and little update video. The next one will be quite a little bit larger again. I've already been uh, coding on that one for quite a few hours now, but I already have actually breaking and placing blocks implemented in a rudimentary way. So stay tuned for that. Get subscribed so you don't miss that. And um, bye bye.